Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Claire. I've got another limited edition from Sephora for you and it is the Fragrance Collection. It retails for £49 and it has a value of £128.27. There's a couple of these Sephora favourite boxes available on the website. They were released a couple of weeks ago. You may have seen my other one that I bought, the Makeup Extravaganza. I will list all of them down below in my description as well as three Christmas beauty crackers that they've released as well. And if I can find any discounts and offers Sephora running, you'll find it down below. So you're welcome to take a look down there love the design following on from their advent calendar so yeah so this is the fragrance one then fragrance is very hit and miss isn't it 49 pound oh this is the very first time i'm looking at it so i want, didn't want to open it up until i was filming but i just love the presentation the makeup extravaganza box full of makeup amazing box but it was all shoved in together this one is all set out nicely <laughs> that's why i was like oh it did come with a little sleeve over the top i've not long come home from greece and these arrived when i was away so yeah so we've got one two three four five six seven items six perfumes and one candle i've seen one perfume in there which i'm obsessed with it is very 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 pricey but i love it uh, i'm going to show you first if i can get it out pen halligan's luna this is a beautiful perfume I absolutely love it. It just smells amazing. I've had a little tiny sample of this before. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. Oh, I'm gonna have to read up about it. Because I'm the worst at describing perfumes, I'll go onto a website and let's see what they say. We've got five mils here, and just to give you an idea of the price, to buy 100 mils, it'll cost you 160 pound. Mm. <laughs> it's got a head of bergamot, lemon and orange. Heart of Rose Accord, Jasmine Petal Accord, Juniper Berry Oil, and a base of Fir Balsam, Musk, and, and Ambergris. Ambergris. It's just the most amazing perfume. Oh, I love it. I really, really, really love it. I've got a 20% discount code for Sephora. It's clear Sephora. It can be used on a lot of products, but not everything, and it can't be used on this. Well, not when I last checked, anyway. They do change now and again, but still, 20% off 160. Oh, that's still going to be over 100 pounds, isn't it? One day, one day. <laughs> so that's the first one. Next, you've got Marc Jacobs, and this is Daisy. Is this, yeah, ever so fresh? I've got the full size version of this and it is gorgeous. I absolutely love citrusy, fruity smells, but not too sweet. <laughs> and let's have a look, see what this tells me about it. They currently got offers of many of the perfumes on the Sephora website. So 30 mils cost you £49.82, it was 59 So the fragrance family is fresh and citrus, which I love. Top notes, mandarin essence, mango and pineapple. Heart notes, rose water, orange blossom essence. Base notes, cashmere woods. I do really like it. It's so nice. Oh, I do really like it. Yeah, I love that. And I love the little bottles as well. I don't like all the daisies, but I do like quite a few of them. Next up we've got Floral Street and this is Wild Vanilla Orchid and there's 10 mils here and you can actually buy it at this size for £28. As always the packaging is just beautiful isn't it? The design on the bottle I mean it's just so so pretty. Let's have a sniff. I can't remember. I probably have had this. I've, I do. We do tend to see them a lot in different advent calendars and beauty boxes. Mm, it's nice. I, don't, I do like it but I wouldn't say oh wow it's not a Luna. <laughs> It's definitely not a Luna, but it is a nice one. It contains cassis, lemon, vanilla blossom, bamboo, jasmine, vanilla bean, sandalwood, patchouli fraction, red orchid, cashmeran, and ambroxan. Ambroxan. We've got a perfume by Commodity, and this is paper, and there's 10 mils here. Now, Commodity was featured, I think, in their advent calendar. It rings a bell. Commodity is quite intriguing because you can get to choose a type of perfume based on what you like. <laughs> As in, do you like a weak perfume? Do you like a perfume that you can smell it but the whole room doesn't? Or do you like a perfume that the whole room can smell you come in before you arrive? <laughs> that type of thing. Plus you can choose like different notes and you can come up with your own. You can mix and match. And I'll just read you what it says here. Fragrance isn't one scent fits all. That's where commodity comes in. The modern American perfumery created scent space, expanding their fragrances into three scent space versions. A soft personal skin scent, a uniquely balanced balanced expressive scent and a powerhouse bold scent. You can buy them at this size for £24. Inspired by the cult favourite paper, this woody ISO-E super 
blend combines with touches of sweet amber that comes alive on the skin. The molecular wood transcends skin with a lightweight and effortless glow. I was kindly sent a discovery kit, which you can buy. You can buy their own big discovery kits. And you might have seen me unboxing it on one of my PR and hauls. No, that isn't for me. <laughs> I don't really like that one. It smells a bit like um, paint stripper. <laughs> It was quite, hmm. It's okay. I can't remember which one I liked. Was it milk? Milk. It was like a grassy scent. Hmm. I'm not sure. It's okay, but it's not one I would buy anyway. Oh. Next we've got Versace Dull and Purple. Look how cute that is. Very, very cute. All right, before I read up about it, let's see if I like it. I don't think I smell this. Hmm. That's an unusual smell. It's a nice smell. It's quite sweet. It is quite sweet. Not one I'd normally go for, but it's nice. It's very subtle. Let's have a look, see what it says about it. Dull and Purple is a bright and elegant fragrance. A sparkling bergamot is blended with joyful tones of freshly harvested orange and a juicy pear. Heady scents of freesia deliver an explosion of bright purple color and delicate aroma of its petals. And then Belambre and Ambrofix provide an asserted, elegant and vibrant tone underlined by soft iso e super and creamy cedarwood. Silkalide signs the fragrance with a musky note and slight fruity scents. That doesn't mean anything to me. It is a really nice smell. It's quite subtle. It's not a really strong one. But yeah, I definitely use that. It's lovely. Next, what have I got here? I got Chloe. But which one are you? I'm gonna have to look on the website, hold on. Chloe's signature Eau de Parfum, and there's five mils here. And the scent is over 60 years old, apparently. Try a little bit on my arm there, just so it's away from the other one. It is nice, it's quite rosy, but not enough rosy that I won't like, that I don't like it. I don't really like rosy smells, but I can smell a bit of rose in there. <laughs> but it's got other things in there, so it's, it's not, <laughs> not that bad then for me. <laughs> So it's a perfume for women, draws on French perfumeries, classic feminine scent. Rose Damascena, the ultimate in femininity and the fragrance's heart note. With floral, powdery scents, peony, lychee and freesia form the light and voluptuous top notes. In the base notes, the cedar's woody, ambery tail enhances its honeyed accents, the bounty of the kaleidoscope. Chloe Rose makes this timelessly charming eau de parfum for women unique. <laughs> it's nice, but I wouldn't go out and buy it. And last, we've got a candle. This is from Scandinavisk, Herga DNA, Danish DNA. I like that. I like the little top there as well. Yeah, what's the smell of? Oh, that smells lovely. <gasps> what is it? You can buy them at this size. They do come in larger sizes, but this one is on sale for £16.50. The candle is a perfume and Swedish rapeseed wax blend in painted glass with a pure cotton wick and engraved beechwood lid. Yes, but what's the smell? Oh, it doesn't say. It, does, it doesn't say. So um, I'm left on my own there to um, describe this to you. I haven't got a clue. It just smells nice. It reminds me of autumn, winter, like bonfires. Mm. <laughs> it is really nice. I'm sorry, I can't tell you. We got a little candle there. So there you go. Those are all the items in the box. Seven in total and one of them is a candle. I really like this. I think this would make an amazing Christmas present for someone who loves perfumes and different scents. The majority of the smells I like, but some of them I don't, so I will be passing them on. I love this Luna by Penhaligans. Oh, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to be savouring that. <laughs> But as always, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of this box? So have you bought it yourself? Or are you watching thinking, mm, shall I, shan't I? I'd love to hear. Even if you hate it, I'd love to hear. So please comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.